In this video, we are going to install a retractable screen on a vinyl patio slider. Let's start by opening the parts kit provided with your Apollo screen. You will find two handles, a bag of four self-tapping handle screws, a bag of two housing screws, housing and handle plugs, a strip of three bumpers, a separate magnet kit that includes the magnet, a nesting shim, a strike plate, plugs and screws. You won't need these right away. It is probably best to store them in your tool belt for efficiency. Vinyl sliders are typically so easy to install there are no sill adapters, so the only measurement you will need is for the rails. You want to measure from the outside of the slider to inside of the center post. Now you are ready to cut your rails. For an extra professional finish, use your miter saw to trim the inside edge of each rail at a 45 degree bevel cut. You will only do this on the housing side of each rail, and it helps prevent the screen from snagging when it is pushed out of the track. Now it's time to prep your door and the bug flap that we use on sliders. Make a cut flush with the screen door downward. Slice in where the flap meets the door about one and a half inches. Turn inward to cut the gasket off and remove the small piece left in the groove. This will allow the screen to sit flush with the door frame at the top and bottom. Repeat on the other side. Using a 1 8 inch drill bit, drill holes in the bottom track, one on each edge and the center. For the top track, you only need one at each edge. We are now ready to mount the screen door. Align the housing on the center post of the vinyl slider and screw it into place on the bottom. Square up the housing using the slider center post and loosely screw in the top hood cap. Now that housing is in place, we will install the bottom rail. The rail should sit behind the pilot hole on the housing cap. Fasten the bottom rail in all three points you drilled already. Now it's time to hop on that step stool and fasten the top rail behind the pilot hole on the housing cap just like you did on the bottom. Once the pilot screw is secure, pull the rail across the opening. Let the rail move and go where it wants to. Once the spacing feels right, go ahead and fasten the rail on the far side opposite the housing. Do not over torque the screws. Ideally, you leave some flex for the rail to move with the weather. Your screen should now retract smoothly and completely. Here is a pro tip. Before you come down from the ladder, save yourself some ladder time and install the top bumper and the housing screw cover. At this point, you are ready to install handles. You could do this before you install the screen door, but if you haven't yet, simply use the self-tapping screws. Please make sure to check for clearance for the existing door handle and the door frame opposite the housing. Finish off the handles by installing the screw plugs. Finally, you are ready to install the magnet. On a vinyl slider, we typically install the magnet on the frame of the door and the strike plate on the butt side of the pull bar. We call this a reverse magnet installation. First, check the fit of the magnet to check the clearance of the pull bar and where the screen seals against the frame. Once you have located the correct placement, go ahead and screw in the magnet. After the magnet is secure, leave the strike plate attached to it. 
Then pull the pull bar across to mark your strike plate location. Use a 764 inch bit to pre drill the strike plate holes. Finally, fasten the strike plate down with a number one Phillips bit and the screws provided. To finish the installation, install the last two bumpers as well as the bottom screw cover and the magnet screw covers. And that's all she wrote. Right, open it. Apollo screen and shade. Next level screens. 